Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to talk about chapter 7 which is about preparing your drawing for printing. Now let's first start with the model space and paper space and what are those. Okay so and you see we have multiple tabs over here at the left bottom corner model layout one layout two. So this model is by default selected okay and this is actually what we call model space so where we start drawing the objects in AutoCAD by default is model space and you know that uh, at the end when you have prepared your drawing you need to print it and show actually to be able to show it to a client so you need to print it to a specific size and to a specific scale on a piece of paper right so for that, you will be needing to use paper space and these layouts takes us to those paper space. Okay. So layouts are here actually to be used for printing your drawings. So you see this paper button over here. When I go back to model space, so I'm using these tabs to Right now I'm using these to switch between the model space and paper space, okay? So you see when I'm in the model space and uh, where I start drawing shapes. Okay, so you see this model button over here? So it actually shows that uh, I'm in the model space right now. And when I switch to the layout and paper space, it is saying that I'm in the paper space. So from now on to, uh, to actually toggle between the paper space and model space, we are going to use this button over here. Okay. So right now I'm in the paper space and I'm going to switch to model space. Okay, so what we call here, you see, uh, this uh, rectangle has been highlighted and kind of uh, being bold in black. So this is called um, model, actually we are going to call it paper space model space, okay? So we call this model space, which is inside paper space, from now on, paper space model space, okay? So what we draw in model space, we call them model space objects. Okay. So now let's switch between the model space and paper space using this button. Okay. So, uh, what we actually are able to see this, uh, paper space model space is again, what we have in model space. So these are the model space objects, right? Okay. Now let's uh, switch between the um, paper sp model space, paper space and paper space. Okay. So we are in paper space right now and I want to show you something. Okay. Let's go back to here. So you see UCS icon over here in the model space. The UCS icon is X, Y axis, right? But when I switch to layout in the paper space, this um, UCS icon is uh, kind of rep is represents uh, represents by this uh, rectangle shape. So seeing this, you can understand this triangle shape. You can understand you are in paper space. So from here, this button and this shape, we can understand it. Uh, we are in paper space or uh, the model space. And again, when I switch to the um, paper space model space, you see, I'm able to again see the X, Y axis. And that means I'm in the model space. Okay, now you see we have a grid line over here. And also we have a grid line over here in the black screen. So to d turn the grid line off, and on, you are going to use F7 button 
on the keyboard, okay? It's important to know that. We need to turn it off using F7. And if you wanna turn it on again, again, use F7 key on the keyboard. Or you can use this button over in the status bar, okay? So here, again, F7, you can turn it off. Okay, next thing that I'm going to talk about is viewport. Okay, so you see this rectangle over here? This is called viewport, okay? So actually these can have many shapes, okay? So it could be a rectangle, it could be a polygon, but by default, this is a rectangle. Now let's uh, switch back to paper space, okay? Because right now we are in the uh, paper space model space. Okay, now you see when I switch back to paper space, this line is not bold anymore, is not highlighted anymore, okay? That means we are in the paper space. Okay, uh, you see this border of the viewport? This is actually a paper space object. So we are able to draw objects both in model space and in paper space. But uh, the ones that we are going to draw in paper space have actually different aims, okay? So one of those is to create viewport. So like any other object or model space object, these um, kind of paper space object can be moved, can be erased, or can be kind of scaled in size. So you see in this layout, we have this one viewport, okay? But we have the option to actually create more viewports and have more viewports in this view, in this layout, okay? Um, let's first talk a little bit more about the viewports, okay? So to activate a viewport in a paper space, you need to double click inside this boundary okay so double click and you see right now i've switched to paper space model space okay and if you want to go back to paper space you just need to switch somewhere outside in uh, outside this boundary okay so wherever on this gray screen or let's go back again on this part of paper space but outside the boundary Okay, so you see we can toggle between the paper space and um, what we call uh, paper space model space. Okay, so whenever this viewport is active, we are able to see this kind of bold line, bold black line, okay? Now, whenever this um, viewport is active and I'm inside the... Um, paper space, model space, I'm able, you see, I'm able to zoom in, out, okay, or use pan, or even draw some objects. Okay, so by this, when I'm drawing um, an object over here, I'm actually uh, drawing a model space object. So when I go to model space, you see, I have added an object over here. Now let's switch to paper space again. So I can modify the model space using this window, uh, using this viewport, what we call um, paper space model space. Okay, you can pan, zoom, and actually by, uh, you can select a specific part of uh, what you have in your model space. Now, the next thing I want you to do is to go to publisher's website, okay? So the book publisher's website, SDC publication, and then find the book that we are using. So AutoCAD Interior Design 21. So 
find the book that we are using and then go to downloads tab and from here download the exercise files for this book okay so download it and then you're going to extract it and we are going to use it so this is the file that i have kind of downloaded so open it and i want you to open this file okay conference room dwg okay So when you open the file, this is the lay uh, layout that you are seeing. Okay. So I need you, I need you to switch to this other layout, which is viewport example. Okay. Now here you see that we have two viewports here, right? So one is showing the chair and the other is showing the plant. So if you want to activate a viewport, you just need to double click inside of it. Right. And you can you, um, pan and zoom. Okay, now I want to go ahead and add another viewport. Okay, so, and I want you to do that as well. Okay, so I'm going to kind of uh, move these two viewports. So select those and then you just need to pick somewhere on the line and just hold the uh, mouse key and move it to somewhere else. Okay, and now I want to create another viewport, right? So how can I do that? Well, you see, we have a layout tab over here. This is visible only where we are in paper space. Okay. So switch to layout tab. And to create another viewport, you need to use the viewport tool. Okay. And that's located over here and it's a fly out button. So when you click, you see, we can create um viewports in multiple shapes so it could be any specific object or polygon or a rectangle okay so i'm going to use the rectangle from this viewport tool and then i'm going to draw um just a ra random rectangle over here okay so you see what we have in our model space if i go to model tab you see what we have in here is kind of fit in this viewport that we have that we just created now if i want to select it you can uh, actually double click in it if i want to zoom in on a specific part i can just zoom in on that part and so I'm able to see any, any specific part of my um, model space objects in this viewport. And to toggle between these viewports that I have here, actually, actually I need to use Control R key on the keyboard. Okay, so write it down. It's important to kind of toggle between the viewports. You need to use Control R key. So you can either double click inside the viewport that you want to be activated or use um, control R to switch between them. Okay. Now, and as you can see, um, there is only one, one viewport active at a time. Okay. So we cannot activate um, multiple viewports at the same time. We cannot do that. Okay. Now the next thing that you're going to need is to set the uh, scale. Okay. So, uh, we are using paper space to kind of prepare our drawing for print, right? So we need to specify, um, a scale for that. So when a viewport is active, you are able to see the scale button over here. Okay. So when I switch back to paper space, you see, I'm not able to see that button anymore. So go and select the viewport. And then from here, you see the scale button. And when I open it, actually, when I, when you click on it, you are able to see the options that you have for this scale. Okay. So you can change it. It is too zoomed in. 
this one is good. And when I zoom in and out, look at this number over here. Look at this scale. When I zoom in and out, you see this scale is kind of updating and is changing. So uh, if you want your drawing to have a specific scale and be printed with a specific scale, you need to pick one from here. Okay. Now, for example, imagine that in this viewport, I want to see a chair and the plant, okay? Both of those. So, um, let me, for that, I need to kind of zoom out a little bit and kind of pick this view this time, okay? Or if I want, I can use the same scale and just kind of pick the um, border and use the grip and then go inside the viewport, use pen. Now I have kind of resized the, uh, resized the viewport and extended my view. So you need to use the grips to resize um, a viewport, okay? So select it and pick these grips and resize it. And hit escape to get out of selection mode, okay? Okay, so I repeat again, okay? So when we are in paper space, model space, which means one of these viewports is active. You see, we are in paper space right now, but when I click and activate one of these viewports, I'm in the paper space model space, okay? So when we are in paper space model space, we are able to create and modify the model space objects, okay? So if you wanna add something, you can, or just modify the drawing. Okay, now the best way to kind of edit and modify the model space objects in a layout is to use this button over here, okay? Is to maxima, um, kind of maximize this viewport, okay? So um, when you are uh, in a viewport, you can use this button, maximize viewport. And that kind of, you see, it is um, kind of zoomed in on the area that we could see in that viewport, right? So now you can start editing whatever you are able to see in this viewport. So for example, I'm going to add a circle over here. Okay. And then when you want to switch back to the, um, kind of, uh, to the previous view, to the layout view, you need to use this button again. So this time this has been switched to minimize view. Port, okay, so maximize viewport, then minimize the viewport. So maximize it, start um, modifying the drawing, uh, start editing it. And then when you want to go back, just hit minimize viewport and you are kind of back and the viewport kind of restored. You see? Um, and I'm able to see the modifications, right? So again, when you when your viewport is active, just use this button, maximize viewport. And you see when I'm using maximize viewport, this border over here is kind of, we have a kind of blue border that shows that we have maximized the border, maximized the viewport. So minimize it again, and we are in the back in the layout. And you know that by activating a viewport, you can start editing the shape from, uh, editing the model space from here as well, right? But the best option is to use the maximize viewport and I'm gonna tell you why, okay? So uh, you make kind of a mistake, start drawing in the paper space instead of in the paper, st uh, paper space model space, okay? So uh, now take a look at here. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna go back to paper space, okay? And now I'm gonna start drawing, for example, this 
rectangle over here. Okay, so when I go, um, actually, when I go to model tab, and you see, I'm not able to see that rectangle here. And why is that? That's actually because I, this is, this rectangle is a paper space object, not a model space object, because I've added this, um, object when I when I was in the in the paper space okay so I'm this is not a model space object it's a paper space object okay so do not make this mistake okay do not um, add an object in the paper space because it's not going to show up in your as a model space object for you And one more thing about a scale is that you need to kind of specify that for each uh, viewport separately, okay? So activate this view viewport, set the scale using the scale button, go to the next viewport, change the scale to whatever you want, Next one, okay? And they could have different scales, okay? I'm just using, for example, this one. Okay. So when I'm in the paper space, you see when I zoom in and out, I'm not able to change the scale or um, zoom in on uh, one of the specific objects. So that's why we are not um, in the paper space model space or in an active viewport. Just activate it and set a scale. Okay. Now, imagine that you want to get prepared for printing your drawing and you see, for example, some, something is wrong over here and you come here and start zooming in or out and you are actually, by zooming in and out, you are changing the scale, right? And then at the end, you wanted this drawing to be printed in one inch, for example, a scale, and then you forgot to set that scale back to the one that you have chose before okay so that is going to be a huge issue right because you have printed your uh, drawing in a scale that you didn't want to so to prevent that you kind of um when you have set the scale to the one that you want okay and for example imagine that right now you want to modify the objects okay now you have the option to lock the scale and lock the viewport, okay? So you see this padlock over here? When this viewport or any other viewport is active, you can lock the viewport, okay? And when I lock the viewport, I'm not able to kind of uh, zoom. I'm actually locking the a scale of the viewport okay you see i'm not able to change the scale anymore either using this scale button or by zooming in and out you see when i'm zooming in and out right now uh, it is actually the layout that is going is zooming in and out okay so it's not the viewport so but when i again use this padlock button to unlock the viewport, I'm able again to zoom in and out and change the scale, okay? So if you want to keep the scale, just still, just set the scale here, lock it and make sure you are not going to change the scale anymore. I mean by mistake. Just one more point about the viewport and that's actually about the scale. So um, when I, click and let's go inside so you see the scale uh, is one inch so 
when you kind of resize this viewport or extend it, the scale is not going to change. Okay, so it does not affect the scale. Changing the boundaries of the viewport does not affect the scale. Okay. Now I'm going to go back to the previous drawing that we had. Okay, this one. Okay, now that we have kind of prepared our drawing for printing in paper space, the next step is to print it, right? Okay, so the print options are located here. When you open application menu browser and hover your mouse over print button over here, you see we have a plot icon here, plot option, plot preview, and page setup. Okay, I'm going to talk about each of these. Now, what happens if I uh, actually start with using this one, plot preview? Okay, when I click, you see the command is saying um, no plotter is assigned, use page setup to assign a plotter to the current layout. Okay, this message is showing up actually because we haven't assigned a plotter to this layout that we are going to print. We haven't set the settings for this layout to be printed. Okay. So let's um, first change the page setup. So to access page um, page setup uh, button, actually, you can either come here in the application menu browser, print, and then uh, click here. Okay, so this is page setup manager. Or you can come to the layout tab. And from this layout panel, you can click on page setup button. Okay, so we had two ways to access page setup manager from the layout tab or from application menu browser. Now to set, uh, set up the, um, the layout for printing, you need to pick the layout that you want uh, from here. Okay, so um, by default layout one is selected in here. So you just need to pick modify to actually select modify button. Okay. To modify the setup for the layout one for printing. So click on modify button. Okay. And you see we have many options over here. Okay. Don't uh, worry about those. Okay. So we are going to talk about important ones right now. Okay, so the first thing you should do is to specify the printer and select the printer from here. Okay, so you may want to go ahead and just um, set the printer and print your drawing just right away um, from here. Or you may want to save it as a PDF, save your drawing as a PDF. Whatever you want to do, you need to specify that from here. Okay, so when I open up uh, the options that I have here, for example, I have a printer at home that is listed here, or <clears throat> for example, for this, uh, one and what you, and what you're going to do for your assignments. And from now on is to create PDFs from your drawings. Okay. So the option that you are going to pick is this one DWG to PDF. Okay. So this is what you are going to select. And if you have Adobe PDF on your computer, this will be an option for you. But if you don't, you may have other options. Now, the next thing that you need to do is to select the paper size. So you want your drawing to be printed on uh, what size of paper? Do you want it to be a letter? or larger than that, whatever that you want to pick, uh, it should be listed here. Okay. So you just need to go and find it and select it. Okay. So for example, I'm going to pick, uh, do, 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 do. This one, eight and a half inch there, um, by 11 inches. Now, the other option that you have is to set, for example, is to say, do you want your print to be in your drawing to be printed in portrait or landscape? Okay. 
So you need to specify that from here. And now if I hit preview, you see, I have the viewport in here, right? So view, uh, preview button is used for you to just check your drawing and see what is going to print. Does it look good or not? And if you want to, if you want, if you see something is wrong, you can go back and modify your drawing and come back and print it. Okay. Or if you see the print settings, for example, this um, box is not at the center as we are seeing right now, you can go back and modify that. Okay. So hit the preview button before printing and check everything and then go ahead and print. Okay. And when we are in preview mode, uh, to go back to the previous window, you need to hit escape button on the keyboard. Okay. Hit escape button to go back to the page setup. Okay. Now, one important thing here is to, uh, you see, we have a plot area over here and you saw that when I hit a preview, my viewport is not in the middle of the page. You see, we have more space over here than here and more space at the top than here, right? Okay, let's go back to the page setup. So I'm gonna talk about this. Actually, I want you to, instead of layout, I want, you see, we have some other options over here, right? So I want you to use the extend option, okay? So the set the plot area to extend. And you see when I use the extend, when it is uh, set to layout, this center of the plot is turned off or grayed out, okay? But when I use the extend, this one, I have the option to uh, pick the center of the plot, actually select center of the plot, okay? Check it, okay? Now, what it does is that it kind of centers the viewport to the layout. Okay, now if I go to preview, I can see it is centered to the whole layout, right? To the page. Let's go back. Okay, one important thing here is that when you are using the extend, make sure the viewport that you have created does not kind of, uh, is in the boundaries of the layout, okay? Is within the boundary of the layout. Let me show you something. So I'm going to close this. So I want you to make sure when you are using the extent option, for example, your viewport does not look like this because sometimes you are going to hidden kind of hide this viewport boundary and you are not able to see that, right? When you hide it and you may kind of uh, get stuck in something which is wrong that I'm going to talk about, okay? So make sure the viewport boundaries are within the layout uh, page, with, within the layout boundary, okay? Um, if I go, if I do this and go to page setup, actually it's gonna ruin my uh, printing, okay? So make sure not to do this. Let's go back, go to page setup, modify DWG to PDF, the papers, set the paper side, change this to extend and you center the plot and preview and you can see everything is right, right? Now, just when you are done changing the settings, just hit OK. And uh, we have actually, we are done with the page setup. So just close the window. And next, we are going to print our drawing. OK, so we have changed the settings and now we are going to print it. Change the setting for this layout. OK, we have changed them and now we are going to print the drawing. So to print the drawing, you can come here um, and go to print and just click the print. OK. 
now we are in the plot uh, window, right? Okay, so you could either pick the print or from here, pick the plot. Okay, select the plot. So continue to plot a single sheet because uh, I wanna, I have multiple layouts, but I'm going to print only this uh, one, only layout one. Okay, so it is saying, do you want to try batch plot, which is going to uh, kind of plot all the layouts that I have or continue to plot a single sheet. So I'm gonna go with a single sheet. So you see the uh, settings that uh, we have changed for this layout are showing up over here, right? So DWG to PDF, the paper size and everything is loaded here. So we don't need to change them anymore. But if you wanna go ahead and change something else, you can, okay? If you wanna do kind of extra adjustments, you can do it um, here. And then to print, you just need to hit OK button. And because we are going to print as a PDF, right? It is, uh, actually it asks us to save the PDF uh, somewhere on our computer. So I'm gonna save it somewhere on my hard drive, save it. And then you can open the PDF and see that we have, uh, see the printed version of your drawing, okay? Now, imagine that you have created multiple layouts for your drawing, for example, one for your floor plan, another one for your elevation. And if you have multiple elevations, you may want to print each in one layout, okay, in a separate layout. So you may have created multiple layouts and you want to, you may want to rename those, okay? So to rename a layout, for example, you can use the name sheet, for example, sheet one, sheet two, sheet three, or you may, for example, say, this is the floor plan. This one is the elevation um, one, elevation two, or something like that, okay? So to rename a layout, you need to come here on the tab and right click and choose this option, rename. And you see right now it is highlighted. So you can go ahead and type in, for example, sheet one, or sheet one or something, whatever. And that's it. Now, if you wanna go ahead at, uh, and add another layout, you can use this plus button over here and add a new layout, okay? So let's go here. For example, I'm gonna start drawing a shape over here. Just something random, okay. And then I may wanna print this part separately from this part, right? So I'm gonna print this one in sheet one or in layout one and in layout two. So in layout two, this time I'm gonna pick this one and prepare this piece of my, uh, this uh, part of my drawing for printing. Okay, now again to kind of turn off this, um, um, to turn off the grid, okay, you just need to hit uh, F7 on the keyboard, okay, or this button. Now, what if I wanna create a duplicate of this layout, a copy of this layout, okay? For that, again, you need to come here on the layout that you wanna create a duplicate of, and then right click and select this one, move or copy. Now, it is saying that, do you want your sheet to be located before layout, before sheet one? Do you want it to be located between the model and sheet one? Or do you wanna move it to the end? So for example, I'm gonna pick move to end and don't forget to check this box. Okay, create a copy. Otherwise, actually it's going to move um, the, 
the layout to somewhere else, okay? So create a copy, move it to the end, or you can just pick a layout and say, I want it to be located before layout two, for example. I'm gonna pick move to the end and hit okay. So we have another layout, which is layout two, two, which is the copy of this one. So you saw that we could create um, layouts from here, right? Now, actually AutoCAD gives us the option to add a layout from template as well. Okay, so what is that? So imagine that you're working in a firm and in that firm, they use a title block uh, for their drawings, okay? So for setting their drawings and uh, for printing, okay? For and they might have the information about their office listed there, uh, the name of their office, the name of the drawings and everything, the format that they are go going to use, okay? So in that situation, uh, while you are working over, uh, over there, you need to add a layout from their template, okay? The template that they use. And for that, you need to just come here, for example, and just right click and select this one from template, okay? And then this window will pop up and you're gonna need to pick the template that they use in their office and just open it. So for here, for our project, you are going, we are going to use this one right now, okay? Tutorial um, iArc, we are going to use this template, open it, and you see it's a d.dwt, which means it's a template file. Open it. And then this window will pop up. Actually, it shows the layout styles that we have over here and we have only one in this template, okay? So you might have multiple layout styles, but pick uh, the one that you want and hit okay. So you see this layout has been just added uh, to our project. So just click and see it, okay? So you see this uh, blue boundary, which is a uh, kind of viewport. And this is the title block in this template file. Um, yeah. And you can click and activate the viewport. Okay. So this is actually a title block that has been created and saved as a template file. And as you can see, the scale is locked in this uh, layout. So it's quarter inch and it's lots. Yeah, so for example, in this chapter for your uh, exercises, you're gonna create a title block for yourself and then save it as a template file and load it into your project as a layout later, okay? Now, if you decided to delete a layout that you didn't want to, you didn't want, you just need to come here and select the layout, right click, and then select the delete and delete it. Okay, that's it. Okay, so this is what I wanted to cover for chapter seven. Good luck and have a good one.